nothing I'm going to give you. And you say, John, can we have the market analysis? You know what I say? What's your first name? Carl. Carl. You know what I say, Carl? I say, Carl, I'm happy to give you copies of anything you want as soon as you give me the go ahead. Do you feel comfortable with me working for you or should I keep talking? Work. Okay. <laughs> What you got for me? Well, um, I've been uh, going to a couple of fizzbos and things of that nature. And Wait a minute. You've been going to fizzbos and you're still here? <laughs> Do you get this, everybody? Lying. You can work fizzbos and live. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. I think real estate agents think if I go in the front points, I'm going to vanish. <laughs> All right. So what's up with them? What are they saying? Tell me the mean things. Okay. Well, well what's going on is like uh, I went... Um, to a, you know, a newer area, what have you. And um, I went to the owner, uh, and again, I went a couple times because I never kept home. And I finally see that garage open, I was like, I'm going. But yes! I, I called the wife, like, I'm going. So I went and um, knocked on the door. We uh, uh, He came to the door. I was like, uh, I noticed because the sign was gone. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know really what to say, but I said, I'm just going to just wing it. So uh, I, I said, I know that your sign is gone, but I uh, also noticed that you were selling your home. Are you still selling your home? And then he uh, told me, uh, well, I, I just put it out there periodically just to see if uh, people would bite. Stop. Yeah. Coaching moment. The perfect technique at this exact moment is, are you serious about selling? About selling. Do you see that, everybody? Because he already told you, I'm a part-time pretend realtor at best. So let me ask you a question. Do you not put the sign out when you don't want people stopping by and bugging you? I mean, how do you decide when to put it out? <laughs> <laughs> and what would happen if you took your sign down and somebody who's dropping off kids, soccer mom, baseball, team play, church choir, whatever it is, they're talking about, you know, we should live closer and your sign's not there, and they drive right by your house, and your house is one that they might have wanted to buy, but they didn't even know it was up for sale. Can I see your sign? Okay, would you show it to me? Is it in the garage in your house? Where do you hide it when you're not putting it out there? <laughs> you see how I'm using humor, everybody? Right. Okay, you know most realtors don't do that. They show up and they get real serious. No wonder they don't get hired. You gotta have some fun. All right, so I'm just curious, when you, where do you put your sign when it's not out there? Um, we're roleplaying, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're roleplaying. <laughs> Make it up. <laughs> Be as tough as you want. Well, I, I, well, what I do, me and my wife, we just went through a divorce, and, you know, I was thinking about selling the house, but what happened is that, you know, uh, my, my house is only worth, uh, <laughs> my, my house is worth 240000 I bought my house in 2006. Okay. Uh, but now, these people are selling these houses for 140000 I mean, right. so, like, I just want to get a buy that lower than this to one ninety. Is a divorce final? Sell. Yes, yes. So I'm thinking about moving. And did you tell the judge your house was worth two forty? Well, that's how much I owe her. Okay. Have you ever bought a new car? Yes. And when you drive it out of the parking lot, did it go up in value or down? Down. No. Mm-hmm. In the last six, seven tough years we've had in real estate, where, yeah, right, they're calling it a recession we went through. Be clear on this. Michigan went through a depression. If you owe two hundred forty thousand dollars on your home, and you're trying to sell it for one ninety, are you going to make up the fifty thousand dollar difference? No, but what you got to understand, I just put um, a new kitchen in here. I, I, I uh, my roof. I, I put a new roof on here. Mm -hmm. I mean, my, my house is worth that. I mean, I bought, I bought, I built this house from the ground up. I believe it. So here's my question: As nice as your home in with everything you put in, the new roof, the new kitchen, why in the world would you move? Well, my job has been talking. I work for uh, Pepsi Cola, and the okay. job has been talking about moving. So, you know, i you know, I'm just trying to feel the system, see, uh, you know, if if people still buy my house, you know, I just put it out there. But like I said, I, I can't. You know, except uh, 160000 when I didn't put way more than that, up and, and I owe more than that, really, pretty much. Right on. I hear where you're coming from. So the real question is, is there any chance that you could sell your home, get out from underneath, 
clean up the mess and make a move so that instead of having the burden and the pressure of a home that's underwater, you can actually start fresh, take some of that stress off. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the way. That's the reason why um, I decided that I will sell it for 189. You know, <laughs> but like um, I, I don't know. Uh, I, actually, I'm a realtor too, but I'm, I'm just uh, you know. So really, I don't need a realtor because mm -hmm. re I'm a realtor. So <laughs> okay. the thing is, is so that, are you uh, are you a licensed realtor right now? Uh, yes, but but my uh, I'm just not practicing right now. So I I know all the little tricks and stuff and. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I appreciate you having me out. And I wish you the very, very best. Okay. Well, thank you for coming. You got that, everybody? Is there any money here? No. no. Okay. So if I spend the next 45 minutes and I sing Kumbaya and we hold hands, <laughs> is it going to make any difference? No. no. Is it going to put any money in my pocket? No. no. Okay. So the technique is called Hasta la Vista. Got it? And that, that's a real life story. That's exactly what, what happened. Yeah, that's a real life story for yeah. me too. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I did. All right. You're only going there. And thank you so much, MacArthur, for bringing that up. Wait, you weren't making that up? That was like, that's what went down? No, that's exactly what went down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, now, I will tell you, and I'll share with you here, that if you're on an expired listing or a FISBO, like Linda brought up with the cousin, Okay, I have taken listings from the mother who works for a different real estate company <laughs> one mile from my office from the mother. Oh, wow. And I knocked on the door and this person said, well, I don't care how good you are, I don't care how many people refer you, I don't care how many homes you sold in the neighborhood, I'm going to list this with my mother. And I said, are you serious? She said, yes. I said, do you not like your mother? She said, I love my mother. What are you talking about? I said, you just told me you're going through a bitter divorce. Why would you want to give your ex a club to beat up your mother? She goes, I didn't think of that. I said, I'm glad I'm here. I said, how about if I take all that from your spouse and I pay your mother a referral fee for doing nothing so she doesn't have to put up with it? And she said, that would work. And I listed it right then. Okay, so don't tell me. <gasps> right, you just didn't ask the right questions. As soon as that lady saw her mother being brutalized by an ex-husband that she hates his guts, did she want to put her mother through that? Understand it wasn't about that. It was like, Mom, I'm protecting you, and this guy's giving you money for doing nothing. Got it? Mm -hmm. We came up with a solution. Didn't I say if you find a problem, you bring a solution to it? Mm -hmm. There's a commission check with your name on it. Okay. Were you ready to share? I have one question. Question, fire away. Um, Hi, I scared this guy. I thought I was calling him in. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him a name, man, but I didn't say I was playing. I'm out in the parking lot. <laughs> Go ahead. How big of a referral fee? Like, if you have that instance, how big of a referral fee would you offer? Oh, I'd do 25 or 30 percent in the heartbeat. Wouldn't even think about it. Because if I don't get the listing, how much is the mother going to give me? <laughs> Zero. All right? So, I got this pie. And if I have to give a little piece to somebody else, I still got enough pie to eat. All right. Thank you. All right. Who else has got a tough one? You got one. I know you do. Me? Yeah. No, I don't. Well, if you did, what would it be? I do have a question. We'll fire back. Yes. Oh, we're going back to you. Yes. Well, how do you get around um, the one particular area that I want to break in has some very, very successful agents? Is very it a well neighborhood? Known. It's, yeah, and very, very well known Is it well -known here in agents. Livonia or is it somewhere else? No, outside of Livonia. And okay, very, so like Plymouth? Like Northville, Plymouth. Like Northville. Just, do you live there? I do. Okay, that's how you break in. Well, but the thing that I constantly get is, well, we're going to go with so-and-so because she or he, they sell everything around here. Mm -hmm. mm. And I want to really say to that person, yeah, they're going to show up and list your house and then you will never see or speak to them again. All right, so here we go. We already got our answer. People, but you'll never get him or so what I would do now is if I was farming or wanting to dominate your subdivision, mm -hmm. what I would do is I would run for the last one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, how many homes came up for sale and how many were sold by a broker, not the listing agent. And then when they say,